It's clearly demonstrated to everyone, to the democratic and non-democratic opposition, that the regime is weak, that this weakness can be used, that the regime is practically lying on the ground. And the next question arises, who is able to take advantage of that? And why do you think Prigozhin turned back? Did he blink? He was counting on the support of other army units, on people's support, but he didn't get that support. He understands very well he simply couldn't take a city like Moscow on his own. And he was looking for a way out of the situation. And the Kremlin was also looking for a way out. Yes, you called for the Russian opposition to support Yevgeny Prigozhin. Why did you call on people to support him? Not to support Yevgeny Prigozhin, to support a bandit and war criminal is basically a quite pointless task, but to help him to reach Moscow and to use the situation. If an uprising had started in Moscow to meet Prigozhin, then the situation could quite well have developed differently, and I am absolutely convinced there will be more such opportunities in the near future. So you believe that Russia's democratic opposition now should take up arms and should try to remove Putin by using force? Yesterday's situation showed that quite minimal armed formations are enough for the transfer of power to be started. The whole question is who can seize that transfer of power. And the democratic opposition has every opportunity to seize that transfer, if only it will stop seeing the necessity of acting with weapons in hands as some kind of taboo. Does that mean that you yourself are gathering armed forces, you're trying to create now units that could try and overthrow Putin by force. Listen, let's not try to ascribe to me what I haven't said. Nonetheless, I understand perfectly what is necessary to do, but to say by who and how it should be done publicly on air, no one will say. The only problem for the democracy movement is that it has to take up weapons in its hands. It doesn't necessarily have to use them, as we saw with the example of the mutiny, but it is necessary to take them up. How close then do you think we are to a possible end of the Putin regime? Far closer than two days ago, far closer. But it depends on us. It depends on how successful the Ukrainian army's counteroffensive will be. But when such a fork in the road like that created by Prigozhin arises, it's absolutely necessary to use it, and I hope that next time the Russian opposition will be more ready for it.